Christopher Boone is a 15-year-old boy who lives with his father in Swindon. He has a pet rat and he goes to a school for special needs. This year, he will be taking his A-level mathematics paper and will be the first student in his school to do so. One day, Christopher finds his neighbor's dog, Wellington, dead on his neighbor's lawn with a garden fork pierced right through his body. Christopher goes to hug the dog and his neighbor, Mrs. Shears, comes out and screams at Christopher. The police come and Christopher gets overwhelmed from being interrogated that he hits the policeman because he does not like being touched. Christopher gets arrested, but he is let out with a caution. Christopher's father comes to collect Christopher from the police station, and Christopher tells his father that he would like to investigate who killed Wellington. But his father gets very angry and tells him that he should stay out of other people's business. But Christopher decides to continue his investigation, and he tells his teacher, Mrs. Siobhan, that he would like to write a murder mystery novel about who killed Wellington, which is the book that we are reading right now. Christopher goes around to do some detective work in his neighborhood, and he meets one of his neighbors, Mrs. Alexander, who tells him things that he did not know before. He, she tells Christopher that his mother was having an affair with Mr. Shears while she was around. One day, Christopher leaves his book lying around in his house, and his father reads it and gets very upset and assaults Christopher. But later, his father apologizes, but takes his book away. Christopher goes to look for the book in his father's room, but he finds letters addressed to him from his mother, who his dad has told him was dead. Christopher feels sick because his father had lied to him, and he passes out on his father's bed. When his father comes home, he sees Christopher lying on the bed and apologizes to Christopher for lying to him and tells Christopher that from now on, he will only tell him the truth and admits to Christopher that he was the one who had killed Wellington. Christopher feels very scared of his dad, a dog killer, and feels unsafe to live in the house anymore. Since he now knows where his mother lives in London, he decides to go and live with him. He takes his dad's credit card and goes to London. On his way to London, he meets a policeman that accompanies him for half his journey because the policeman tells Christopher that his father is looking for him and he wants to take Christopher back. But Christopher manages to escape from the policeman and makes his way to London Victoria Station. When Christopher reaches London, he goes to look for his mother's address, and he finally finds his mother with Mr. Shears. His mother is very surprised and happy to see Christopher, but Mr. Shears is not so happy. Christopher's mother and Mr. Shears get into a heated argument, and his mother decides that the best thing to do would be to go back to Swindon to sort this out with his father. When his mother meets his father, they get into an argument because... His father had told Christopher that she was dead, and also for her nerve for coming back. Christopher goes on to take his A-level mathematics paper, and he gets the highest grade possible, a grade A. His mom manages to find a new job in Swindon and a new apartment for Christopher and herself to live in. Unfortunately, Christopher's pet rat passes away, but his father buys him a new dog, and tells Christopher that he knows that it will be hard for him to forgive him, but tells Christopher that he will do whatever it takes to earn back his trust. And now, Christopher has new big dreams. He wants to go on to university to study mathematics and physics and get a first-class honors degree, and he believes he can do so because he managed to solve the mystery of who killed Wellington. He managed to go all the way to London by himself to find his mother, and he managed to write this novel. The